Hi, so this is a project in the um, tone bass violin uh, platform to play through um, two books actually of uh, Russian etudes collected by uh, Abjamova, I think, um, Ab Abjamova, and um, I start <laughs> easily and the goal is to play uh, with uh, good sound and without actually practicing much. I'm not sure about how this practicing works, so as soon as there are like difficulties, one can practice spots. <laughs> so, I mean, considering that I normally stay on my agents for months, that's um, a, a really different uh, framework. Okay, but anyway, it starts easy enough and I don't know how long I will be able to do that for how many of those, but um, at least in the beginning I can also look at those as uh, sight reading exercises. So I'm also not sure how I want to document this. Um, I don't think that I will have the video running for <laughs> all of this practice, but anyway, so and I really don't have I have trouble with my violin setup, so if I put some extra material down here, no, that's not good. Also something to look into, and I, I think I should do it soon, but I don't have the patience to do it right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> makes it even worse. Okay, so number one, it's in A major, andante, moving eighth notes, mostly on the A and E strings, so it's slurs of four, and I think um, I want to observe like um, my finger um, articulation. some disturbances and um, I think that will also be a topic in the next one so I'm just moving on to number two. Here we have uh, it's written in G, G major and uh, so in the beginning we have like changes between C and C sharp so high and low second finger. Now it's called moderato, so presumably should be a little bit faster.
so like connecting at the tip and 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 frog for the bow changes i think maybe i play the last two lines the sections on the b string and g string again no that's a change that was not very clean. <laughs> obsessed with the details here. I don't know what the best benefit for me would be. So I'm just, I think I will kind of move quickly through the first ones. It is um, next one Resoluto and it has like um, pam, ta, da, dam, ta, this kind of bowling. Um, so the question is how much bow and what tempo. So maybe I first play it in the middle of the bow also. sound quality went better on the A and E strings so maybe I try this again of the bow in my hand and I um, wonder how much like extra weight I need and maybe apply that from the whole arm.
in A again, higher strings, slurs and slurs of quarter notes and half notes. Moderato, mezzo forte. So I don't know if this should be with the whole bow. Maybe. I think, I mean, these string changes are kind of uh, something that needs to be refined over time. So maybe I'm not going to the extremes, but stay like in the middle of the bow again. Ah, oh, okay. So A major doesn't have D sharp. <laughs> I did that wrong in the first one, it's D. Hmm? This thing is like this fourth finger open A. finger down without any extra <laughs> adjustment.
Okay. Number five, Allegro. quarter notes and slurp of quarter notes and it also has like this extra four open sequences. Again, putting down the fourth finger, like just having it at the right place where it just needs to drop, and uh, clean bowing at all times. So I have this like spots where I don't have such a good bow, and could be after a string change, I think. Maybe also before a string change. I think I played through this again and uh, kind of go back and forth where there are some kind of problems. Also, this is kind of not working that well anymore.
Okay, then I'm doing number six as the last one because then number seven has bone variations, so I don't have like time to go into those and maybe it's enough to do six. It's moderato, different key, B flat major, and um, again, it's in three now, so, but I think it's basically like good hygiene <laughs> for <laughs> detaché and maybe left hand articulation, so left hand finger placement. change when I play the open string. Okay, so in summary, this is, I think for this part, what I can like think about, what I can get from this is that it is, uh, forces me to really observe the basic things of, I don't know, left hand uh, set up not having my favorite flyaway first finger and like have a trick lifts and drops of the fingers so that they don't contribute to any extra like dirt between the notes and then the bow like 
have an even sound and uh, the little time at the borders like going back and forth without any fuss <laughs> any <laughs> fuss in the sound and also anything doing uh, in, in, in the hand or in the arm so changing strings like getting to the next string gradually in advance and uh, then have a smooth string crossing that is exactly right on the new string yeah and i think these are like common concerns and the value is to make myself do that with um, like mindfulness and attention and uh, that is a theme that came up in lesson also just to not have this as something special but <laughs> as some basic component of playing that I always have and uh, therefore I mean practicing this with these etudes so far, I don't know if I make it better if I repeat things or maybe just like going back and forth a little bit, but then it will be more valuable to play a new thing because um, I can't make the old thing better. I don't know if that makes sense. It sounds a little bit strange to me. And I'm kind of wrapping my around about <laughs> my, my mind of around this new um, this new like community activity or challenge or however you want to call it. Okay, good. We'll see how that goes. <laughs>